first update to talk about this month is a brand new, completely free game mode called Dimension of the Damned. Combat, crafting and cooperation is the focus of this exciting, time-limited, two-week zombie fest, where you control a fully maxed version of your normal account. Starting on the 16th of October, the gameplay is focused around Falador and the free-to-play environments, surrounded by legions of the damned. Protect your group by constructing barricades or use them to upset the competition in the area. Each player can earn points by killing the wide variety of zombie types, including 10-man boss encounters, which can be spent in Falador on loot boxes. Unique equipment, power-ups and useful material can be found, helping you rack up more points and hopefully earn yourself an invitation to the unique endgame. This grand finale will take place on the 28th of October. Each invited player starts again with zero points, but this time death is permanent. Over the course of two hours, the world slowly shrinks in size, with more and more monsters spawning until finally only one player remains. Unique prizes and glorious recognition await. Since the update is totally free and all accounts start at max level, it's a great time to buddy up with new friends and old. In fact, free players have it really good this month, with a big batch of previously members-only content becoming available to all. This is the biggest bundle of newly free-to-play content to date, including seven quests, the Fletching Skill, two D&Ds, the Warriors Guild, craftable offhands, crossbows, more places to explore, and more magical and ranged armor. Whew. There really has never been a better time to pop in game and give RuneScape a go. So if you've got any friends sitting on the fence, be sure to bring them in. Sticking strongly with supernatural spookery, the Halloween update this year focuses on storytelling. You'll uncover sad tales from tormented ghosts around the world and help solve some putrid puzzles to help put them to rest. Half the stories from this mini quest have been taken directly from fantastic player submissions, the other half written by some of RuneScape's finest. Available in part to both free and members, rewards include a new Halloween emote, title and a great cosmetic outfit allowing you to become a headless rider. If you're looking for something less gruesome, check out Northumberfest. It's the first outing of Gillenor's Thirst Quenching Beer Festival, a massive beach style event with plenty of great activities to tuck into as you take a break from the weighty duties of the World Guardian. Try out the new seasonal minigame Kegger, practice table dancing and ride on the giant carousel, or join in on the latest epic bar crawl across the world. Plenty of rewards await, including barrel pets, wolpertingers, thigh-slapping outfits, new dance emotes, and a healthy chunk of XP too. October also sees the return of Count Check to the bright lights of Lumbridge, an in-game NPC fully motivated to get you to learn more about the benefits of account security. Earn free keys every day for simply using the multitude of options we have to help keep your account safe. Free security-inspired clue scrolls are also available every day directly from the count, as well as XP lamps and even some competitions. Look out for more information next week. I'd also like to tell you about a new charity event that's happening in October. Similar to the Gillenorian giving event back in May, you'll have the chance to gain some in-game charity tokens through normal play, earning yourself some unique armor. You can also spend rune coins on a brand new cape, or the items from the May event in case you missed out first time. All the proceeds from RuneCoin purchases on those special items will go directly to our chosen charities, who many of you will have met or seen at RuneFest this year. Ah, RuneFest. It really was a cracker this year. Thanks for making it so awesome. And if you haven't done so yet, make sure you check out the videos available on our YouTube and Twitch. In fact, Twitch viewers who've connected their RuneScape account to their Twitch account will also be able to start earning unique rewards, starting with the Twitching Orb Pet. Tune in to Tuesday's Month Ahead live stream at 4pm game time to grab yours. Finally, don't be surprised if you see some layout changes to the Grand Exchange. In a recent in-game poll, you voted to consolidate the Varrock GE to a single booth. So we've implemented the changes you've asked for and taken the opportunity to tidy up the area a bit. 
And talking of poles, we've also improved the pole systems by adding in-game bank locations with details of the poles and removed the categories to give all decisions equal importance. That's it from us. Have fun. Wooters out. <laughs>